All right, guys, so I've got a couple of stories for all of you guys. And Keon Patterson posted this a couple of days ago, and he is looking pretty impressive. You guys can see the level of definition he has at seven weeks out, and he is looking pretty impressive. His abdomen and chest is giving us the idea how impressive he looks, and his back development can be seen here, and you guys can see that he, he looks almost complete. And I believe all he has to do is to bring the best of his conditioning to stage, and he, he can do wonders and he is one of my favorite athletes because of his overall package and he has improved a lot over years moreover i've got news from harry chupan he has managed to reach united states and he is going to train with hany rambard i believe this duo is going to bring something to stage that will be uh, great and harry chupan himself is an athlete who is disciplined and dedicated regardless of uh, what the circumstances are and despite of uh, the tough uh, political conditions in his country, he is looking like that. And you guys can see striations is, striation is in his midsection. So I'm expecting a great package from him. Moreover, Nick Walker posted these pictures a couple of minutes ago. And you guys can see how impressive he looks here. Overall, musculature is quite impressive. And he is uh, looking leaner and better compared to what we saw a couple of weeks ago. And I believe he has to take care of two things to in order to win Mr. Olympia 2022. One is his midsection and the other is his overall conditioning. I believe last year he just uh, placed one place uh, lower than Hunter Labrador and that was because of his conditioning. He was not looking as good as he we saw uh, him at Arnold Classic. So I believe all he has to do is bring the best conditioning to stage. And among men's open bodybuilders, one of my favorites, Derek Lunsford, just posted this picture. And you guys can see that he is completely maxed out. And I'm quite excited to see him on stage this year because he was champion of 2021-212 class. And he has that mindset. And this year, he is looking phenomenal. And I believe he can become Mr. Olympia men's open champion. Moreover, the smiling face of Classic Division Brian Ainsley is looking wonderful at seven weeks out. And you guys can see his conditioning in this picture. One of my favorite bodybuilders in the Classic Division, I believe Brian Ainsley, as he was the champion in the past, can do it again. And he has uh, felt the energy of being a champion. So I believe he has that mindset and he is hungrier than ever. And with that kind of physique, that completeness, he can do it again, I believe. And I have no doubt in that. And lastly, one of the potential athletes in the classic division is Ramon Dino IFBB Pro who is looking great in this picture. And you guys can see that his muscle density has improved. His overall aesthetics are quite impressive. And last year there was a, a bit debate about uh, his uh, placement and people were saying that he should have won. So this year we are going to see how he performs in the Olympia. Thank you so much guys for watching my videos. Please subscribe and press the bell sign. Have a nice day.